Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I want to talk about the 30 Days of Bible Lettering Challenge. And I found this a few years ago over on Instagram, and I enjoy it every year. They do it, I think, twice a year. And the basic idea is to just letter. And they give you some suggested verses. You don't even have to do these verses. You can do any translation. You can just do a word or a small group of words from the verse. Whatever you want to do, no rules. There are things you can buy, and they will try to sell you on them, and that's fine if you want to. But really, you can just get a sticky note and a pen and write the verse out and post it on social media. The whole idea is to letter and share it with other people so they get to hear the word as well. I am going to try to do something on my Bible Journaling Made Simple Instagram page because it's not growing very much. I don't do very much with it. So I'm going to do some short Instagram TV videos. And this, these will be little speed videos, no tutorial really. But I got this sketchbook and it's a grid sketchbook, but it just has dots in the corners where the grid would be. So they kind of disappear visually. And what I'm going to be doing is what I've done here. I kind of sketched it out really lightly in pencil first and then filmed the portion where I'm kind of putting a, a firmer line there and making some changes and edits to it along the way so that I can end up with a little piece that is my, my start for the next project because I have a big project that I am going to be trying to do and I covet your prayers as I move forward in this because I'm already scaring myself with what I've taken on. I've got a giant sheet of drawing paper and I want to cover it with all kinds of verses. I'm going to try to see if I can do all 30 verses on this one sheet. And while I was a graphic designer in my previous life, I... I don't really do things like this particularly much. This is not my my thing, but I love typography. I even have a typography class that I teach for Bible journalers over on my website because I love lettering and I love how lettering works together and I love how typography can actually help to enhance the Word of God. Not that we can add anything to it by that, but we can draw attention to things. Like those little swirly things around His we're declaring his glory, not our glory. And there's little flares like that that I love adding to a verse to make it stand out more, to put a highlight on a particular word. And I might redo it again some other time and put a highlight on a different word and that sort of thing. So I combine a little bit of type, a little bit of drawing sometimes, a little bit of doodles. And here I'm making everything in watercolor pencil. So I'm going to try to make this, this whole big piece that I'm doing really nice and bright and fun and we will see if I make it through the whole month doing this but there you go I learned a few things already in just doing this first one one of which is that I don't do like this reversed out lettering very well so later on you're going to see me actually go back in and put a color in those letters because I I, I just didn't like how that looked I would have been better off had I just colored the whole thing yellow and then done the letters right over top of the whole solid yellow, but we live and we learn. I also learned that this red brush that I'm using right now is a terrible brush for lettering because my G started getting fatter, I noticed, just in a couple spots already. So I switched to this other brush that had shorter bristles. So if you're trying to use a brush either for brush lettering or anything and you're struggling with it, try different lengths of bristles on a brush and see if that makes a difference for you because I didn't like having longer bristles. That just felt really floppy to me. And the floppiness of your brush may also be a factor. So some brushes might have longer bristles and just be stiffer and work better. Or you might want one that's floppier. Maybe that's the way you do things too. So try stuff and see how it works. So I'm going over all of these things with clean water and just basically spreading the watercolor pencil out. And here's where I went in with my little brush to start working on the word nations and that little banner above it. And I was not able to clean it up. But what I did find is that I kept getting the paper. It was like peeling up on me with my brush and I kept picking up little goobers. So drawing paper is not good for even slight watercolor. I was, I've was i done a little bit of watercolor pencil on drawing paper before, but not in a focused way. So 
I wasn't realizing quite how much was going to be pilling on this. But there you go. It's not undoable, but it's just something I'll be fighting as I go through this whole process as I as I do my lettering on all these. And here I'm putting the pink lettering into the word nations and then I found I had to go back in with the yellow because then I had white spaces in there. So would have been better to just do the whole thing in yellow, put the pink over top. But next time on the next one, I will get that right. So there is my little piece for today. And the Typography for Bible Journalist class will be linked in the doobly-doo down below, as well as my Instagram page so you can go and see those videos every day. And I will see you again next Sunday with a recap of what I've learned from now until then from all the lettering that I've done and the different pieces that I've created. And we'll see the progress on this big piece as we go throughout the month. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.